Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be doing some work in the cut flower garden, like deadheading. We're gonna be pulling a few crops. And I say we because Monica is with me Hello. here today. <laughs> she uh, texted me last week and said, hey, do you want me to come over on Monday? We can do a work day. I was like, um, <laughs> yes, yes, why don't you come on over? We can do something really fun. So uh, it's only supposed to be 84 degrees today and awesome. overcast for oh, most of the day, it, it looks like. It feels so good out here right now. It does. It's really beautiful. And then tonight we are going to make hand-dipped corn dogs, first time ever, and we're going to harvest potatoes and make some fries. Well, I will like work for corn dogs and fries. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me show you some of the things that we're going to be working on today. First of all, just take in this view. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the zinnias and the dahlias right behind. They really are, like we just did a tour recently where I was like, yeah, the dahlia patch isn't as robust as it was last year or the year before, but I don't know. It looks pretty looks, robust, looks pretty to, robust me. to me. <laughs> yeah, especially from this angle. We're gonna be going along and like cleaning up little things. You know, there's stems and branches that have cracked um, and broken off. We'll be kind of like grooming up plants. So like the rhubarb here, you know, there's some spent leaves at the bottom. We're gonna deadhead the whole dahlia patch, which won't take us long and it'll be nice because we get to do that standing up. No bending over for that. Yes, <laughs> that's fantastic. So I thought that we could go like one on either side of the row and we'll just be able to like visit while we do it and we'll just go down each row and deadhead. And we'll also tie up any, like if you look down the rows, you can kind of see some have flopped a little bit, especially on this row here. We'll be tying those up, but oh my gosh, there's some beautiful color in here. I might have to send you home with a big bucket full. Ooh, I wouldn't say no to that. So I recently, like a couple of days ago, went through the rose patch, so we won't have to go through there too much, I don't think, and do deadheading. Uh, but we do have some delphiniums right here that need to be cut back, uh, some foxglove that need to be cut back which those are all real easy things. I don't think we'll tackle the wheat patch. I have it all harvested, but. Oh my, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. And then a couple more things right up here. And oh, we're enjoying these benches so much. The kids and I came out and sat on benches while Aaron was mowing and it was so great. Uh, I kind of want to go through and deadhead these snapdragons. This is where the bulk of our thrip problem was. Ooh. And they are getting better. Uh, we have far fewer thrips in here, but I also want to tear out, we've got some stock that's just spent, some clarkia that's spent, mignonette that's spent. So we'll just clean some of this stuff up and make way for some fall crops. So you guys, I just am gonna set up a camera and bring you along for what we do today. And then we will walk back through uh, when we're all done and kind of talk about some of the future plans for this space. So anyway, Monica, here we go. Ready. Monica's taking a breather. We're about ready to go dump our first load. Look at this, you guys. And oh my word, it looks so much better. So we deadheaded all of the dahlias. Let me just go around this side. Whoop. Cleaned up the uh, rhubarb there. Doesn't that look nice? And even though we didn't stake everything up, well, pretty much, 
what we need to do is add another string. So you see we've got the string down below. We need to add our second string now that, you know, we've got some that are so tall. Uh, some of them I couldn't stake up just because I didn't have anything tall enough to tie them to, but look at this. I just saw this bumblebee land. Oh, so, so fun. So many pollinators out here. It's just crazy. There's a little painted lady butterfly right there. Oh, there's another bumble over there. And the plants just look so much more fresh. So wonderful. And look at these. All gorgeous, all ready to use, except for, you know, the random ones that we missed. This was my side. <laughs> I missed that. I just love seeing them look like this. And there's a view looking back. Everything's just so tidy. Also, we did tackle this area as well, which there wasn't a lot to do. Looks like there's another zinnia branch I need to grab. It's like sometimes these just can't handle their own weight and just fall over and crack. Um, so that's happened to a couple of these. We did have some pretty stiff wind this last weekend. I'm not exactly sure what mile per hour it was, but it was, it was breezy. Um, and so that can kind of happen when the plants get so huge and there's not a whole lot of protection out here. But we did get the delphiniums cut back. There's just some really beautiful things in here. There's the chocolate flowers right here. There's gorgeous celosia. This is the Selway white. And then look at this. I cannot remember. I think this one's Crystal Palace or Crystal Beauty. So pretty. But I'm also really happy with this Eryngium. And look at the pollinators. Can you see all of them? The more pollinator action I see, the more happy I am with our decision to use the beneficial insects for pest control. Because I don't think we would see near this amount if we had chosen to use pesticides out here. And then we went along and we cut down most of the foxglove. Side note, I'm getting really distracted. Look at the echinacea. This is the echinacea purpurea we started from seed this winter. So there weren't a tremendous amount of stalks that had really nice flowers, but there were a few. And we did selectively leave a few of them up, even if they're not perfect stalks just that, so that we have some of them setting seed and dropping seed. Even though these plants will come back next year and bloom again, but they do have a two year life cycle. So at some point you do want them to set seed if you want them to keep growing in this area so that they will keep growing for you. And we did choose to leave the one amaranth stalk that came up from last year. We had amaranth, I think maybe in this row last year. <laughs> it's looking so good. How are you feeling over there? Pretty good. Nice. We took a break and had some Santa Rosa plums for a They're snack. Delicious. But I think what we're gonna do now, we have to go dump this trailer load of stuff, and then we are gonna go harvest some uh, tomatoes and basil. I'm gonna grab some garlic from the root cellar, and we're gonna make ourselves some bruschetta, brusch, bruschetta, bruschetta. How do you say that? I, Whichever you way you say to. that, I, that's what we're gonna eat yeah. for lunch. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna tackle the last quadrant out here, which is the one that has the snapdragons in it. What a great day. Oh, that should be enough. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, we just had the most delicious lunch. It was so tasty. Oh, it was delicious. Fresh right out of the garden. So now we are going to uh, start back in here and I just wanted to run you back through what we're gonna be doing in this section. So right here in the Snapdragons, I mean, you can see there's still quite a lot of color, but a lot of the stems, you know, if you follow this down here, like real pretty up here, but you follow it down and it's, you know, not got a whole lot going on for it. So we're gonna just be taking these down to where they're gonna start showing color again. And there are some new stems forming at the bottom of a lot of these plants. See all of these right here. These are gonna all be fresh stems. So if we can get some of these older ones cleaned up and I'm not looking you know, to do a 100% cleanup job just to kind of uh, trim them up, make them look a little bit more tidy and more usable. You know, the plants will have more energy to send into these other stems. And I think too, with the amount of thrips we have left, I swear every single day we have fewer and fewer thrips out here, which is great, but the snapdragons tend to hold the most because of the cl just closed nature of their blooms. You know, the blooms are closed up. Um, so that's just a perfect little house for the thrips. So I think if we clean some of these off, we'll eliminate even more of them. So we will be doing that. And then we've got a few, this is corn cockle right here. I just had a couple of plants <laughs> thrive. In the rest of this section, we do have perennial lilies, which I need to dig and move. Uh, we've got some mignonette here, which I think we're just gonna go ahead and pull this probably. And then the clarkia and stock. So we'll get all of those things cleaned up. And I think everything else in here is doing great. Like just beautiful, which is weird because last year was a total fail for Rudbeckia. The year before was great. So you just never know <laughs> sometimes. And then over here, there's actually a couple of things we need to pull. We're gonna probably just, nah, yeah, we'll pull this Bells of Ireland right here. And then there's Honeywort, which is spent right down this way. So we will pull this little section out oh, as yeah. well. Let's do it. <laughs> guys we were on our very last patch of snapdragons and some sort of weather has arrived like out of nowhere yeah look at this and thunder we just heard oh lightning did you see that no okay wait for it wait for it <laughs> wait for it i saw lightning just uh, now yeah. over there. where's the thunder <laughs> i don't know oh but this breeze though it feels glorious. This feels so nice. I saw that we had a 10% chance of storms this evening. 10%. 10%. <laughs> oh. oh, you can't hear it probably on the camera. It's pretty faint. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, we got our job done out here though, which I'm so happy for, about, for, whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. So look at this. Snapdragon's still a little bit wooly, but definitely tidied up. I've never cut my snapdragons back. I just kind of let them do their thing. So I'll be really interested to see how they bounce from being sheared back a little bit. Some of those spent blooms removed. There's a lot of fresh color in there though. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. It looks so great. Everything looks all like fresh and new. It and does. Just, oh. And now we have space to do some fall crops. So this right here is where the corn cockle was and the mignonette. And then we had the clarkia um, kind of going up to the fever few and then the stock right in there. I'm just gonna pop myself over the row and we'll take a look right here. That's where the honeywort was. So now we've got space. I think I'm gonna do more white finch orlea in here once it cools off just a little bit. Oh my goodness, the yeah. breeze. Whoa. And it looks like it's coming closer. Yeah, it does. Like we better go pick our potatoes. Yeah, you guys, that is gonna be it for today. <laughs> like Monica said, we're gonna go pick our potatoes so we can go inside. We're gonna make the French fries and, and corn dogs, see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed myself having Monica oh, here helping. such a fun day. It's always fun when you've got somebody to chat with while you're doing your work. So yeah. anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.